Hey, this is Miko Hughes from Pet Cemetery and What's Craven's New Nightmare. You're watching The Horror Show. What's up, everyone? Welcome to The Horror Show, right here broadcasting from Mad Monster Charlotte for the first time. We have not been out here. We usually cover Arizona, but we were lucky enough to come out here. And quite frankly, we were lucky enough to speak with this gentleman right here by the name of Miko Hughes. Hello. Now, he has been in a ton of movies. Uh, you'll find out through the course of the interview, namely Pet Cemetery, um, one of my favorites, Wes Craven's New Nightmare. Of course, another one that is a big favorite of mine, Mercury Rising. And he's been in a ton of awesome stuff, including stuff uh, all over, not just in the horror genre. Um, he's huge in movies. He's also had an extensive TV career. So. I've been lucky, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I had a good run when I was a kid, for sure. Yeah, well, yeah. absolutely. Uh, now, throughout your career, you have had revisits into the horror genre. Sure. Um, is that, uh, what, what, what draws you back to it? It's interesting because I, I did plenty of various projects growing up, but horror is the one that I'm most known for today mm -hmm. because of the fan base, because there are horror conventions. There's not really conventions for comedy, drama. I mean, maybe there is, there's collector shows. I know Comic-Con style shows are, are very popular, but the horror fans are are just die hard mm -hmm. and that has what has kept me going you know all these years here i am halfway across the country all the way across the country mm -hmm. for something i did when i was two and i'm forever <laughs> thankful for that it's mm -hmm. amazing yeah you you bring that up your first job if i'm not mistaken was like a psa right? sure a yeah little before turning two yeah that's crazy Absolutely. i mean i'm guessing you don't have much of a memory of that at this point not at all <laughs> definitely have more memory of pet cemetery out of the two okay. and even that is like barely anything <laughs> it's just because it's been such a big part of my life that it's been reinforced over mm -hmm. and over throughout the years. And One of the things I wanted to say is congratulations on not becoming Corey Feldman. Oh, thank you. <laughs> thank you. Yeah. That happens with too many child actors. Yeah, I think I've <laughs> navigated it fairly well. Yeah. I'm, I'm not terrible and, and all kinds of crazy. I definitely am a bit crazy. I've had, had phases, but uh, yeah, I'm... I'm Doing okay compared did, compared to some. I, it's not one of my questions, but it's a natural question to ask. Did any of this get to you? Like, did it make you go a little crazy? Not filming, no, not necessarily. I I, I think they were, from what I understand, um, Mary Lambert and everybody on the set for Pet Cemetery were was very aware of the potential of of uh, what I was being exposed to being graphic, and they were careful about that. Mm -hmm. I don't remember anything being terrifying. I think there was one time on New Nightmare where they scared me, uh, they di didn't warn me they were gonna scare me, really? and it like really scared me, and I think I was like kind of upset that day, but really? then it was fine. It wasn't like, it didn't scar me or anything. Do you, you remember know? what it was? Uh, Freddie jumped out. They didn't tell me he was going to jump out at a certain point. And uh, I think I was just seven and cranky that day, you know? Like, I was, well, like, going to throw a tantrum, you're seven, you know? You're allowed. <laughs> yeah, so, yeah, no, I think uh, maybe it can be, and I know that's good to have that concern, but I, I don't feel I suffered ill from from being exposed to horror or filming horror because filming's totally different than mm -hmm. than watching it you know mm -hmm. it's there's 20 people standing around with donuts and cigarettes in between takes <laughs> you know you take that moment to get into it yeah. beforehand but it's not it's not like a haunted house mm -hmm. filming a movie yeah. you know where you're ex immersed in it necessarily so. now <laughs> a couple more questions um do you have uh, obviously you have so many roles that people know you for and lines um do you have any lines that people spout at you that a you like hearing or b you're so tired of hearing when i was a kid boys have a penis girls have a vagina <laughs> i was tormented by really and i was a kid like i don't know how to respond to that that was like you're like yes awkward and weird <laughs> now it's like yeah fuck yeah i mean it's true i've, I've verified it you're like but, but you know what there's more than just those two now yeah it hey it's 2019 <laughs> i mean you gotta be aware so yeah um that was that that one's pretty common uh no fair now i want to play with you it's, yeah, yeah. Do you ever have anyone besides me say, um, Mamis, I'm on his home? 
That's a good one too. Yeah, I get that one a bit. Yeah. I don't know why. On occasion. I, I love that movie so much. Nice. Um, Thanks. But uh, okay, so now there's another trend that is obviously studios. Some people would say are screwing up some of their pivotal franchises. Okay. And now it's up to the fans that are kind of picking up the ball and running with it. Yeah. Um, making fan films that are doing very well. You've got Vince DeSantis' Never Hike Alone, Jason fan film. You've got a full length. Voorhees fan film, what do you think about fans doing that, picking up the ball and running with it where studios are dropping it? I, I'm not opposed to it. I think cameras are so accessible, like high quality cameras and editing software, where before if you wanted something that looked film quality, you needed actual film. Mm -hmm. um, now you can shoot a feature on an iFilm. Mm -hmm. Really lighting is mm -hmm. more important than the camera nowadays, really. Um, I mean, yes, at a certain point, you're going to want a really nice camera, but if you have good light and you plan your shots, you can film a feature on an iPhone. Um, and and it's kind of like with the original and the remake, it just it just adds to the the what's out there, what's available. And good content is good content, and if it's good, people are going to watch it, and it's going to be be part of of the mythos of of whatever you know show it's from so i'm i'm all for it and why not exactly place, right? yeah, absolutely now if someone ever came to you and said because actors from the original films again never hike alone had tom matthews from the original series nice. um uh, the 13 fanboy fan films getting a ton of original actors for that thing yeah if someone ever approached you and was like hey i have an idea let's call it dylan's new nightmare wow where, <laughs> that's where, a wild thought yeah i don't know so, yeah, I mean, it, yeah. obviously... It depends on how it's done, but yeah. it's a fun idea. If it's yeah. a right script I will, Yeah, I, I mean, I'm not going to say no. I would read a script for sure. It's, it just seems like a natural yeah. thing. I mean, Freddie, why not? Why did, Why wouldn't he have escaped in Dylan's head? And then years later, yeah, he's been ruminating in there and, you know, that kind of thing. That's like, fun, yeah. Kind of you cool never stuff. know. There's so many so many paths you can take. And mm -hmm. if it's done creatively and, and well-written, yeah. I'm, awesome. Okay. That's fun. So... Listen, I, I really appreciate you taking the time. So Thank we you. always end our interviews with one horror-themed question. Sure. Um, did you have a favorite horror movie or horror icon growing up? Uh, I was a big fan of, of Freddy. So when I got the call to audition for New Nightmare, that was, like, insane. So you had already seen Freddy movies, even though you were about to play well, a kid that can't watch Freddy movies. The, the funny thing about Freddy was he was such a pop culture icon mm -hmm. outside of the movies. You didn't necessarily... I never saw any of the films, but he was a Halloween costume. He was in commercials. He was in TV shows. Like He was well known outside of the films themselves. Mm -hmm. um, so, so I knew of him. I, I saw the first one after booking, because I wanted to see... You know, I wanted to say I at least saw the original before we film the new one. Nice. But, uh, yeah, I'd say Freddy or Beetlejuice. I've always been oh, Beetlejuice. Is, I don't know if that's horror necessarily, oh, but, absolutely. yeah. That, that's my all-time I mean, favorite <laughs> film. Yeah, yeah. So. That's good. That's yeah. good. Okay, cool. Yeah. Uh, well, we always end our interviews here and every episode just saying stay scared. Feel free to join in. I always say, and remember, stay scared. But yeah. thank you guys very much for watching. Thank you to all the lovely people at Mad Monster Charlotte and Mr. Hughes for doing this with thank us. Thank you. Uh, until next time, though, remember, stay, stay scared. scared.